Okay. All right, let me change the chat. All right. You change the song. I will, and then I just realized that. God, that thing is just so annoying. Really? I'm gonna go away. Thank you. My chat. Hi, Steph Nerd. Welcome to Paul and good morning. Nervic is here. Hello. Hi guys, sorry about that. Um, we had some uh, technical difficulties here. YouTube was being silly. Yeah, we couldn't see it on our end, and so it makes it difficult. Scott will sometimes look over and... Just so I can make sure that you guys are yeah, that we're seeing everything. Yeah, that we're, everything's in the frame, so... Um, yeah, it was weird. We just, it wasn't popping up for us on our end. The chat was, or the picture was gone. I had the chat, but I didn't have the picture. So, um, Scott always likes to look over in, um, from time to time and make sure he, you guys can see everything properly. So, all right. We have hello from Poland, from Texas. Marguerite from Canada is here again. Hi, Marguerite. Hello. Sorry about that. We've got good mornings. Yeah, YouTube is being silly. Um, a plethora of Zendayas. You're making a Zendiagram. A Zendiagram. I like that. I am your biggest fan since Abigail. You inspired me so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, see, Emma's had the same problem. <clears throat> she, same for me. Had a black screen, but the chat was moving. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that we shut it off then. Good. I'm glad. And good morning, All right. Emma. So here's the situation. Someone on TikTok posted saying that it's impossible to paint Zendaya. And then they showed a bunch of really nice artwork of Zendaya. And they're like, this is a great piece of artwork, but it doesn't look like Zendaya. This is a really big, and so everybody tagged me. So I got like a hundred tags on this. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any better. Cause this woman was really, really critical of everybody's art. But I thought, well, I'll everybody, do a shotgun kind of thing. Everybody and Everybody was tagging you in it. Yeah. So, so I figured I'll do a shotgun Try to draw five Zendayas, and maybe one of them might look like her. And we are not turning anything out of the ordinary. This is zebra brush pen and watercolor. Scott's like, should I try gouache? I'm like, okay. Everybody says it doesn't look like Zendaya. Just do your best. <laughs> oh, Kim Diaz is here. He goes, shotgun Zendaya. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kim, how are you? Everybody, if you get a chance, go follow Kim. We are going to do a dual live together soon. Give him some love here. Oh, Battleworks is with us. Looney Cool One sent you a tip and says, new subscriber, and you've inspired me to practice my art and start watercolor. Thank you so much. Oh, fantastic. Renee from India wants to know how you're doing today. I'm doing okay. Can you make Tom Holland next? <laughs> yeah. You guys. What is your thinking on furries? Would you ever draw one? Oh, yeah. I mean, gosh, I, I've done so many comic books with those kind of characters, um, anthropomorphic characters. Yes. I mean, even Animal Crackers has a bunch of them. Artsy Sophie's back. We've got people from the Philippines. Nice to see you guys. I think I'm going to have to change my glasses. Death Nerd go is the... here and the Enforcer this morning. What does... An oh, Animal Crackers streams on Netflix. Chow says, you can't fool me. You're not painting Zendaya. That's paper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Texas. Good morning from Florida. Hello Good from morning. Ireland. Please more watercolor. Today will be watercolor. Do you guys want to see the, the finished um, Aurora? Yeah, I was oh, not yeah. liking it. I know. I need to do another journal video. I apologize. I've been very remiss at that. But I will do another journal video. I will get that going. I was hoping to do an unboxing of Archer and Olive, but that package never showed up. Actually got a notification from UPS that uh, everything was out of the box and they threw the box away. I'm like, oh, okay. So 
those shipping issues abound, friends. Um, what tea are we having this morning? I've got a strong master one today. I am doing the Pittsburgh breakfast blend today. I have two cups of that down here. Actually, they are my first cups of the day. Uh, I have not had tea prior to this. Are you excited for Christmas, Scott? I am. I asked for oh, no. an old Game Boy. The original Game Boy, which I had in the 80s. And so I'm getting that and some old games. Um, Daniel Sketchart says, my Zebra brush pens start to run out of ink from a week after buying them. Has this happened to you? Never. I've never, I, I've literally never run out of ink on one of them ever. I will get rid of them uh, because the, uh, the nib goes flat you know like i've used them so much but i've never run out of ink um, do you prefer coffee or tea i am a tea person oh good luck laura she's got a test tomorrow Thank good you. luck will you do a december series a lot of people want to know if you're going to do something for december like you did for october i, I personally would love to see him do the 12 days of christmas <laughs> um but I know that that would be torturous for Scott, so... So, which makes her want me to do it even, even more. more. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm just... <laughs> I'm kind of crazy that way. Um, you inspire me to do art more. I usually hate every single piece of art I draw, but your videos are therapeutic, and I love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't like every piece I do either. Um, in fact, probably the opposite. So, yeah, it's just... I think... We kind of, if you look at your art as a journey, you don't like every road you're on, but you're working towards the destination. Oh, yeah. I'm not allowed to play the Christmas music until uh, Friday. So I, I promised my son he would have all of Thanksgiving first. He loves Thanksgiving. It's his favorite holiday. Um, okay. They want you to draw Rick Ashley. Um, Marguerite says Octavia and the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> Not only do they want you to draw something out of your head really difficult like an octopus, but they want you to do it over the 12 days of Christmas. You people are just mean. They're trying to, they're trying to light the world on fire. Um, okay. Um, Apple Spice wants to know what your favorite tea blend is. There's his Bengal Spice. I've had that Bengal Spice. That's good. Um, I don't know what my favorite tea blend is. Donna does. <laughs> Scott drinks the berries decaf tea. He's got to have decaf. So he drinks that. Is that just black tea? It's black tea. Black tea decaf. That's what it is. So many people want you to do something for December. A Christmas series. I'm serious. That I'm not. Look, I'm not. Steph, there has been Christmas music here since Monday. Mom's pick. I'm ready for some other stuff. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, gosh. Zebra pen is so satisfying, it makes me want to buy one. <laughs> oh, Felipe is here. Hi, Felipe. How are you? Oh, happy birthday. No, that was his birthday video. Oh, OK. <laughs> the modes, oh, mods are helpful. Hey, we've got a Richard. You inspire me. I might not be able to make it to every live, but I watch them after you guys just bring joy on the platform. Also, I like any raspberry tea mixed with mint. Oh, raspberry tea is lovely. I get that. That's okay. I can't make it to every live either. We all know my brain doesn't make it to every live, so there you go. Bromley Estate Tea is my go-to. It's black. <clears throat> Cry in Chroma. That sounds interesting. Uh, Bird says different Santa figures from around the world. We could do a series of um, countries on how Santa is portrayed in all the different countries. Wouldn't that be fun, honey? Oh my God, so fun. <laughs> you guys, this is like painful. What time is it there? Uh, 9.18 in the morning. Um, do you like the Percy Jackson series? Um, I've only seen the, the one movie, and uh, but my son was a big fan. Yeah, he's red. Will you do anything involving the World Cup? No. Do a dog for every day of December. Oh my God, that would be so cool. 
<laughs> Bethany says, oh my God, so fun. Scott says, with the excitement of a spatula. <laughs> That was so enthusiastic. Can you tell when he really wants to do something? He's just so excited. What is your favorite movie or series that Zendaya is in? Um, my favorite movie was The Greatest Showman with her in it. I know it should be Spider Man, but I think while well, I think the Greatest this, Showman was awesome. Yeah. Why not the World Cup? I just don't watch soccer. <gasps> Say it isn't so. I mean, I love hockey and I don't paint hockey. You know, like I literally, I played soccer, but I, I played more hockey. But um, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of sports enough to paint it. I mean, if I'm like... I've I painted Wayne Gretzky. I've painted um, like if I was going to meet some some uh, hockey people, I'll I'll paint them first, kind of thing. But uh, generally, no. All right, you're a little draggy this morning, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go back and we're gonna read some more comments. A lot of people have very very good questions uh, or suggestions on who to draw. Um, Billy doesn't have classes today and also says that the book was better than the Percy Jackson movie. So oh, if you okay. want something good, you should read the book, not the movie. Watch the movie. Um, I think you should do a Christmas series where you draw stockings based off of people um, close to you. You could also fill the stockings with their interests. Berta likes licorice tea. We've got a good morning from Texas. Good morning. I'm going to put a piece of paper here so I don't smudge. Okay. Um, let's see. So there let's... is a video on how to find your style. It is the, my art is a mosaic. That should help you there. Um, <clears throat> I would love it if that would do December, but with winter themes, a snowman, coal, timber. They want to see lots of things. Oh no, I'm watching this whole waiting in urgent care. I'm about to get a COVID test because I felt terrible for a few days, but watching this is calming me. Oh, well, we hope it's um, negative. We hope you feel better. I hope you're okay. Yeah. Um, Achilles wants to know how you'd stay inspired to make art and do a commission for someone, but so unmotivated. But I don't want to disappoint. Commissions are so hard. It's very hard to, you know, paint someone's grandma or favorite pet or something like that and feel enthusiastic about it. Um, Honestly, I, I I try to look at it as it's something that's really important to somebody else and and try to bring that little bit of humanity uh, to it to get myself excited. But just know that um, it's temporary. It's your job, you know, and if you get to make art as a job, that's a pretty cool thing. Sport. It would be hockey. Which art do you think is more difficult, traditional or digital? I personally make digital, but people around me make me feel like that's not kind of an achievement. Um, no, gosh, it is a huge achievement. Um, no, no, no. Uh, no art is more difficult than another. Um, I think the different arts are for different people who have an aptitude. Some people just have an aptitude for uh, sculpting or painting or drawing or cartooning or digital. It's just, and I think that's what's wonderful. It's the same thing as uh, music. Some people can play the piano. Some people could play the guitar. Some people could write music. Some people could sing. Um, and so it, it's, they're all the arts. It's just a matter of which one you happen to like the most. What about tea blends as humans? I really like objects to character designs. Oh my God, I see Earl Grey as this tall, skinny guy with like a monocle and I do. I can do that. Um, Angel Books. Scott, please help me. I'm having trouble using Prismacolor color pencils on top of Hemi gouache. It's for my first paid commission ever. Wow, so you're trying something new for your first paid commission? 
Um, I, I, that's a very bold move. Um, what is the problem that you're having? Because they should work pretty well together. Though the, uh, the colored pencils are going to be a little bit more glossier, whereas the Hemi gouache is not going to be. I am not liking this hair. Yeah, but it's... it's hmm. You should do something showing the complete chaos of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, can you make the lives in the afternoons a bit more? I come in after school a lot sad because I keep missing your lives during school hours. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we had a Sunday or Saturday night one, yeah. but it was just getting really a lot for us. Yeah. I just needed, you know, I need a couple days off. Add them to a picture of a painted Christmas tree. That's kind of a fun thing. Yeah. Um, Scott is using what kind of pen right now? Zebra brush pen. There you go. Um, let's see. I'm getting a water palette for Christmas. Those jewels. Fun. It's tracing a picture art. Yes. What is your guys' favorite Christmas song? Um. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time by is it the Wayne uh, Paul McCartney and Wings? I think so, yeah. But that's not really his favorite song. His favorite song is either Last Christmas sure. by Wham or the Twelve Days of Christmas. I'm just saying. What's your favorite animal? <laughs> Cheetah. He really hates both of those songs. That's why it's so funny. Um, could you do a stream in including your sketching process? I have done a lot. The problem is, is that if I do, I don't always get a chance to finish. Um, I used to do streams where you guys would ask me, you know, select what I was going to draw, and then I would just draw it right there. I can, I could do that again if it would make you happy. Okay. Felipe asks, Scott, people have been asking me to draw people, but currently I'm basically copying your style. Can I draw them anyways? Uh, absolutely. What is the best paper in your opinion? Um, That's a I like, good question. I like the Be Creative sketchbook, and I like the um, uh, Arches 100% uh, cotton watercolor paper. But don't you like those for different things? You like those for the watercolor medium, right? Yeah. Would you pick a different paper for gouache? Um, yeah, I mean, Arches makes a good hot press that I can use for gouache. Okay, so now this next picture doesn't look much like her. Let's see. Yes, two of our bodies that I don't have channels. Bethany has a channel and David should have a channel by now. What travel watercolor sets do you recommend? I like the, uh, the Canson. There are tutorials on faces and eyes and ears and things like that, but they want a long tutorial on making faces and stuff. Now, everything I know can be summed up in usually a minute. I'm not, I'm not that uh, that knowledgeable. Have you seen Star Wars? If yes, what's your favorite character? Um, yeah, I saw it back in the seventies. Um, Chewbacca. What's your biggest tip for inking? Um, I like the brush tips because I can get variable line weights, and I think the line weights kind of give you um, a really nice look. So I would say get yourself a brush tip pen and just learn line weight. What is your biggest tip for inking? It just literally just answered that. Okay, sorry. Oh my God, 12 days of Muppets from the Muppets Christmas Carol. I love that. What are you doing? Get out of the art supplies. Honey, that's fine, let her lay there, I don't care. What are you doing? She wants to go outside. What are you doing? Yeah, no, it's okay. Just go ahead, walk all over the, the, the stuff. No, no, it's okay. Go ahead, yeah, it's all right. Go on, be a pickle. Oh, Lord have mercy. This dog. You know she's going to wind up upstairs, right? I mean, that's yep. It. The 
listen for the barking up there. Sorry, guys. Our dog is a rather old lady and needs to go outside on a regular basis. Okay. So I can't even tell you how many people have asked what you're doing in December. They want a December series. I got a Van Gogh watercolor palette and I only realized now that you're supposed to push the pans into the thing once you've arranged them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got to click them. Oh, yeah, so they can stay. Our dog's name is Arwen. Yes, from Lord of the Rings. Um, sweet potatoes or yams? Can uh, I say neither? Yeah. I don't like either. I like mashed potatoes and turkey and stuffing is my favorite. Scott likes rice with his turkey. And I forgot to hit record on this one. <laughs> Emma says, talking of dogs, the pickle is being a pickle. She is indeed. What do you do to get artist block? How do you know what to draw? Uh, I've got a video on that, but for me, I like to look at other people's art. I get inspired by other people. Um, so Maya says, what's your biggest tip for young artists like me? Draw every day and don't draw from your imagination. Draw what you see. Use this time to learn to draw things. Okay, sorry, Donna's got something to say. No, 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 go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Somebody just typed something. Sorry, there was an emergency. Everything okay, honey? Yeah, everything's fine. Wow. Okay, sorry. Um, we don't get to find out? No. Um, how do you draw like you do, Scott? I want to add more of your style to my art. Well, my style is based off of the style of other artists that I copied. So if you like my art, copy the things that you like about it. Trace it. Do whatever you need to do to kind of absorb it. And then do that with other artists, too. Don't just copy one artist's style. Um and learn from that. That's how that's how artists get their style is by copying other artists. Tell the story of how you met Dan Pottermore. Um, so we were making the movie Animal Crackers, and um, we got to the part of the movie where Ian McKellen's character, who's kind of the villain, um explains his plans and and when you're listening to it now ian mckellen is ian mckellen so i mean he could read the phone book and still sound amazing but it was a little long and so i thought well we need to do something different and so i thought well what if he's what if he breaks out into song and the song is kind of the monologue you know and uh the the i thought it was a good idea but i just don't know how to write music and so I asked my casting director if he knew of anybody. And he says, well, what kind of shows are you thinking of? And I mentioned Phineas and Ferb because that's what my boys were listening to or you know, watching a lot of. And he goes, oh, Phineas and Ferb. He goes, I know Dan and Swampy. And probably a week later, I was on a phone with Dan Povenmire and they wrote a song. And uh, mm -hmm. it was amazing. And so Ian McKellen and Gilbert Godfrey did a duet. Uh, and, um, and that's how I met Dan. So when I went out to LA, I got to meet him and he was just really, really nice. And it wasn't until years later that I joined TikTok and he's there with his six or 7 million subscribers and, you know, and, uh, we started to chat and that's it. And now we're, you know, hopefully working on another project together. But yes, I'm Scott's wife, and I'm in the background reading the comments so we can paint. Um, okay, so besides the color pencil black cherry, what's a different color pencil that you like to sketch with? I, I don't really have other color pencils I like to sketch with. That's the one. That and white, of course. But uh, no, I, I, I have my one favorite, and that's good enough for me. 
So um, a lot of you are asking about art supplies. So here's the deal. There is a list um, of Scott's art supplies, all the supplies that he uses, and it's on our website, as Sub Art. It's under art supplies. The exact same 12 colors of it's, water, watercolor that I use correct. and everything. Exactly. They're all there. There are links there to where Scott buys them. If you are not in the U.S., if you are outside of the U.S., um, you will have to take those those and look for colors or paints or pencils or whatever in your specific country where you can find them and paper and things like that. But all the descriptions are there, so you can take the descriptions and you can go and look for stuff. Um, are you into vocal music and who's your favorite singer? Um, I. My my tastes are a little older, but I mean I like Seal. Do you like or recommend Copic markers? Uh, I do. I don't recommend them for really just one reason, and that is I I use them a lot, and a lot of my friends use them a lot, and uh, the art that they did for me and some of the art that I did is faded over the years because alcohol markers will fade. And so for me, um, I, I'm past the point of learning to use markers to where if I make something, I want it to last forever. And so that's my, my biggest concern is if you do a piece that you like, it might have a shelf life of maybe 10, 15 years, uh, and then it's going to be faded. Uh, I cook the Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, could you recommend a, a nice watercolor set with an affordable price? Uh, yeah, there's the the Cotman series travel one, and then um, we've, uh, if you go to the products tested page, you'll see some that we uh, that I've tested, and there'll be links to them. There's a playlist. Sorry. Do you plan to do anything festive with your artwork this year? I, I never do, or I never plan to, but somehow I always get sucked into doing something with Santa Claus. <laughs> because we love him. Because we love him. Scott started drawing about the time that he was six or seven. Um, the pen does not smudge. It is a waterproof pen. Oh, yeah. See? And it dries very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, if you look at Bethany Primrose's... Um, her YouTube page, she paints with oils. Should she be the one to ask um, about oil paints? Not us. What's your favorite character from The Simpsons? Um, gosh, I haven't seen The Simpsons in ages, but probably Lisa. She seems the most same. There should be no difference where you buy the zebra brush pens. If you buy them on Amazon or if you buy them on jet pens, there should be no difference. Or Blick has them too. Yeah, there should be no difference where you buy. If them. you it's get a if pen. you get a bad one, which again I've literally used hundreds of them, never really had a bad one. Um, if you get a bad one, it might be. Make sure it's the right pen. Make sure that it that you know you might have gotten sent something that was. Yeah, maybe it was just a bad one. But yeah, still. or a knockoff or something like that. But, I mean, they're so cheap, I don't understand why there would be a knockoff. Um, Scott does not like to draw children's faces because they don't have a lot of wrinkles or lines or anything. They're just very, very smooth. Um, your vintage aesthetic is so fun. I'd love to get into it, but stuff's expensive. It, it is. It is. The, 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 the thing about vintage stuff is to – find a good deal. So, so a lot of this, my, my mom used to own, uh, my, my parents used to own an antique store. So I was always around vintage things and they're just, they're bargain shoppers. They go to the Goodwill, they go you know, wherever they can to try to they find what they were looking for because they liked antiques. And so they yeah. kind of gave you, you kind of have that eye, you know what you're looking for. Um, how do you plan on highlights and shading in the hair? What's your thought process? Uh, I've done a couple of videos on that, but essentially, 
Um, what I'm doing is I'm feathering towards the highlights. So you got the darks and then you kind of feather towards the highlights. Honey, the dog is back. Okay. Uh, Ellen is here and she's over caffeinating, which kind of scares me. Come on, you. Come on, you. Come on, don't walk over that. Oh, okay. Let me get her upstairs real quick. Come on, let's go up these stairs. Come on, let's do the up these stairs thing. All right, it's just you and me, everybody. Okay. Talk about uh, what you're going to do for Christmas because everybody keeps asking every other comments. I, I've kind of been enjoying not having a, a project just for a little bit because I'm also working on a couple film projects that need my attention. And so I'm trying not to uh, put too much pressure on myself. I think I'm gonna have to get another pen because this one is not as sharp. So this is the problem that I have. So I don't know if you guys could see the difference in pointiness. Okay, sorry. It's okay. I had to get her situated. She's just she is a whole mood. Let me know. Can you guys see this okay? Is this in, in focus? Yes, it is in focus. Can you guys see the one? This one right here is the yep. new one. And you can kind of see how they're just a little duller. Yeah, the one on the right is really dull. I mean. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So right. I'm going to, and what I always do is I put a piece of tape on the new one. Uh, we did a stream. We started a stream before this stream. And it wasn't working for us. We had some technical difficulties. So we uh, we popped out and popped and started a new one. Is it better to teach yourself art or follow an instructor? Uh, that is 100% up to you. How do you uh, take instruction? Um, I was never good at listening. Um, I, I, I'm autistic. I was undiagnosed uh, up until this year. And so... I just wasn't good at sitting still and taking direction. But if you are someone who excels at that in school and you do well and you get good grades, then absolutely, please, please, please find a good school, get some good instructors and get everything you can from them. Uh, See the difference in eyebrows? This was the old pen and this is the new pen. See how, how, how much finer the lines are? Do you enjoy your job as a content creator and do you like streaming or making YouTube shorts more? Uh, I like making the YouTube shorts more. Um, there's a lot more story to it. This always feels a little chaotic um, and a little bit more like performance art. Really? Hey. Yeah, for me, you know, I'm, I've got to perform in front of a live audience. But you're drawing, which is something that just comes back yeah, but... to you. I, I understand that, but sometimes I don't want to sit here anymore and I want to get up and go do something else and I can't because there's people watching. When I draw, I take a lot of breaks. You know, my mind wanders and um, I just, I'm more comfortable when I'm not in front of an audience, obviously. This is as comfortable as I can be because I'm in the hobbit hole in my pajamas. You know, and, yeah, and so it's totally fine. It's just if it, the question was which one do I prefer, right. and the and camera's I, not also not trained on you. Whereas yeah. Whereas in the videos, he's able to. The videos are sort of a controlled environment, so he gets dressed up and he practices the lines, and he can you know cut things out or redo a line sixty-two times. Whereas when you're live, it's kind of like, whoops, I said the wrong thing, which it's nine times out of ten me, not you. But still. Okay, Angel Brooks said, client asked for gouache and I'm used to it, but my cat broke my really thin brush while playing and I thought that pencils would be nice to do the details, but they're not really showing. 
Yeah. Um, I'd go get the, if you're more comfortable with gouache, I would not um, try anything new during a commission. I really wouldn't. They, they, they're expecting, yeah, they're expecting something specific. Yeah. Practice with colored pencils on your own. Do you have, yeah, so basically go buy that really, really thin brush for your gouache that yeah. your cat ruined and, and just, you know, bite the bullet kind of. That's, that's my two cents. Would you recommend these Langwork pens for alcohol-based markers? Um, I, I think they'll be okay with alcohol markers. Yeah, you'd have to try them. <laughs> Her mods are uh, modding in pajamas as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I have a blow dryer sweatshirt on this morning because it is cold. What would you use to cover up zebra brush pens when you make a mistake? Uh, gouache. I did a video on it. Emma says, I want to be modding in pajamas, but I've been to work today already. Yeah. <laughs> we love you. What art supplies from Windsor and Newton Deer? Okay. You guys, so many of you are asking Scott's favorite um, travel stuff, his favorite art supplies. Go to the art supply list and... Um, Check out the art supply list. It's got a list of everything in it that Scott recommends. Yeah. Everything that he's used, everything he takes with him in his. Here, I'll show. I'll show you guys. Kit, all of that. So you're gonna go to. They they put the link in for this. Supplies. Okay, but I'm just saying, just to, in case you. So you go to my channel, and you just swipe over to about. Go to about, and there is sabaart.com plus all of my other links. All the socials. Yeah. Everywhere. And you go there. And then once you get to Esava Art, you can click here and go to resources. And there's my art supplies. And these are mm -hmm. all of the art supplies. This is my travel kit. This is my favorite sketchbook. This is a mm -hmm. cheaper sketchbook. Though actually, they're not too far in, in uh, mm -hmm. whatever. And there's the a zebra brush, brush pen. Um, and there's right links there, to Amazon and Blick. Um, Here's every single yeah. watercolor that I use. The specific colors. Yeah. Here's Holbein acrylic gouache. Mm -hmm. Here's the disposable palettes. Everything you guys see me use, mm -hmm. this is it. And then if you want to, you can always go back and you could look under art supplies we've tested. If you want to yeah. find some of the other stuff, here's the oil pastels, mm -hmm. the Hemi uh, acrylic paints, mm -hmm. Crayola paints, everything. Mm -hmm. The paintbrushes he's tried, all yeah. of that. How do artists manage so many social medias all at the same time? Well, it, it's it's hard. I, I probably spend most of my time here, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I will do my best to answer questions on TikTok and Twitter. Twitter, I've only got, I think, 5,000 followers. So I don't really have to do too much. And Twitter's kind of going away. Going away. So mm -hmm. um, Instagram is hard because I get so many DMs on Instagram, yeah. and that is really hard to try to keep track of. Yeah. We cannot reply to everybody at this point. If there's too yeah. many people. And I don't even look at Facebook. Yeah. But I do post everything onto all of the socials. Mm -hmm. And I definitely don't look at the Snapchats. Yeah. The best place to reach us, really, if you want to get us directly, is the Discord. That's going to be the best place to reach us because we just can't get to everything else. Um. Scott's done some uh, tattoo art, and he's had people use his art for tattoos. Maybe three or four times. It's not been a lot. You started on your... Uh, will you do another giveaway? Well, we just did one for one million, and we're still actually waiting for one person who needs to check their email and get back to us on that, because I have one piece of art that's out there. So, And if they don't check, then we're going to have to get rid of that and give it to somebody else. Did you guys have breakfast? I had breakfast. Scott did not have breakfast. All the happy stuff and the reading the comments doesn't happen without the food. Um, let's see. 
can you make a video of copics? Scott has, has done a video of, of markers. Um, alcohol Not markers. specifically copics, but yeah, yeah, I did alcohol. And we did just get a set of brush tip. We did um, 120 brush tip markers. Do you like to make art or anything as a gift, or do you think it's better to buy the gift? I'm making bookmarks for my friend. I like to gift art. I love um, to I think, art. I think, I think um, when you give art, it is so much more personal. Mm -hmm. It's like when somebody bakes you cookies or bakes you a cake for your birthday. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, it, it takes so much them, more effort and yeah, thought. It took and, them time to do it, and they put love into it, and... I don't know. I got the most wonderful birthday present. I will I will just tell everybody now because I can. Um, I am allergic to flowers of all types. And they make me sneeze. And anyways, so Bethany Primrose made me flowers, paper flowers for my birthday. But she made them out of my favorite books. Yeah. All of the... Um, Jane Austen novels, Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. And so I have a dozen roses in my kitchen that are just, they make me smile every single day. Oh. She took the time to do it. So I think art's And then there's the, the vegan cake that you got. Oh my God. And yes. Oh my God. Yes. And then Jimmy Brown baked me a vegan birthday, which I can't even, okay. I can't even extol the virtues of the brown eyed baker. If you guys... Could just go give her some love on Instagram because she makes the most beautiful and delicious cakes ever. All right, we are at 950 and I've got three out of the five zenyatas inked. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but What's your we're gonna try. Cartoon styles? I love cartoon styles. Bethany is definitely a hoot. Somebody's like, Bethany, you're a hoot. Love from India. What do you do when your art rips? Do you take it back together or just redo the entire thing? Depends on how much I like the art. You know, if I really like the art, then I'll, I'll tape it back together. <clears throat> do you play video games? I do. I'm currently playing Overwatch 2. We're trying out the new uh, World of Warcraft dragon characters. And then um, uh, I'm waiting for the new Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, okay, so this is going to be painted in watercolors. We are going to get to Posca markers, but um, we haven't gotten there yet, and they're expensive, so uh, we will we will get around to that. We Which were characters do you play on Overwatch? Uh Reinhardt, Arisa for tank, Junkrat and Torb for uh damage, and then um Moira and Lucio for heals. No, oh, can you see the paper flowers? You know what? Let me do a little video on the paper flowers. I'll do a little video and post that later. I'm 10 years old and I love your paint, your styling paintings and your watercolor paintings as well. That's Diva. Oh, thank you. It's very nice to meet you, Diva. Uh, what kind of, let's see. Uh, do you lose your ability at art if you take a very long break from it? Uh, I'd say, I think saying lose your ability at art might be a little extreme. You lose your swagger. You lose, wow. yeah, you lose that confidence ah, that you have. There you go. And uh, I lose it, you know, like with my, um, with my uh, watercolors and inks or, or, you know, like my acrylic gouache and my gouache uh, isn't as good as when I was doing it every day. Helen says the mojo. The mojo, yeah. Yes. But you do get it back. <laughs> You just have to get back into it. That's all. Yeah. Um, let's see. How do you seal soft pastel art? When I sprayed fixative on mine, the colors turned black. Ugh. They shouldn't go black, but they should definitely get muted, which is why I don't like to seal it. Um, did you do a tutorial on 
tutorial on drawing hair? I want to say that you did. Yeah, I've done, I think, a couple. Yeah. Check the Art Hacks playlist. Uh, somebody wants coloring books, please. What is gouache? Gouache is like watercolor. And there's a video on this, but gouache is like watercolor, but more opaque. So you can paint it more like an acrylics or oils. Okay. So let me just get through some of these. Uh, Scott's favorite dish that I make is um, sherba. It's his grandmother's dish. Um, Georgina is a nine-year-old and you're their favorite artist. Thank you, Georgina. Style. It's very nice to meet you. Who was the first person slash celebrity you drew? First person slash celebrity that I drew. Hold on. Um, gosh. The, the first celebrity I can remember drawing would be, uh, I mean, well, it's probably not the first, but the only one is John Bon Jovi. Oh God, that's old. No, you know what? It might have. No, nope. Sorry, going back. Eddie Van Halen. Wow. What's your favorite piece of art? My favorite piece of art is "Spring" by uh, Sir Lawrence Almatadema. We are home for Thanksgiving, and I am cooking. Someone wants to know if the watercolor bled through the paper on the bottom. There. Yes, it didn't bleed through the paper. It came along the side, you see? It, it kind of, it dripped and kind of ran around. That's the, the problem with paper that's not glued down, yeah. is it does that. Mm -hmm. And that happens on my sketchbooks a lot, like my travel journal. Um, he's using a zebra brush pen right now, and. Tell us what paper pad you're using right now, too, please. This is the Canson XL uh, sketch or you know, paper pad. It's it's not the best. It is the it is one of the cheaper ones, and so I'll use it for stuff like this. That you're not sure that you're gonna like, and you might tear up. Oh, uh, just just stuff that's just kind of more exercisey. Okay. What is your favorite piece of art that you've done? Favorite piece of art that I have done. Mm -hmm is um, probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. We would like to try some art supplies from India, but as you know, you guys getting art supplies that we have and us getting art supplies that you have, um, it's an interesting type of a little uh, issue there. Yeah. Um, so we are still obviously always trying to, to get new stuff to, to do with you guys. Have you ever done Britney Spears? I have not. Um, we can't really go back into the garage anymore to show you Esmeralda because we're using a different camera now. And so there is a video on Esmeralda. You can watch that. Yeah, I just posted, I think, last Sunday. Yeah, going out. Into the not not the recent Sunday, but the one before. Um, but she's doing great. Let's see. The giveaway... Um, We've already announced everybody. On the I announced it on the, the community, community section. Yeah. Yeah. There's a list of everybody there who's won. Um, okay. The pen that Scott's using right now is a zebra brush pen. We buy ours on jetpens.com. You can also buy them on Blink. You can buy them on Amazon. And you don't need ink pens for watercolor. This is just the way Scott prefers to do it. Yeah. Um, and also developing the style. Diva, if you look at my art is a mosaic the video that will show you how Scott came to where he is now. What would you recommend for getting better at sketching realistic people? Practice. Just, just do it a lot. And you start to see the shapes. You start to see the light and the, um, the proportions and there are books. I, I, I mean, there's, and, and I have some, recommendations that I've put both in on our website and in videos uh, for that. But I mean, honestly, nothing is going to be practice. Um, what's your favorite thing about making art? The magic of there was nothing and then now there's something. I've always loved that. Always loved that. Things magically appear on the paper. Yeah. Uh, they really want you to draw with graphite. Apparently people have been asking for a long time. They want you to do that. I did that. Uh, I've done a couple videos on it. 
Um, hi, Scott. How are you? Good, sir. Would you recommend some starter watercolor and pen inks for me? Uh, yes, they are in my art supplies list, and it is the um, Windsor, and Windsor Newton Cotton set. That's the one that I would start off with. And then once you're feeling uh, a little more comfortable, you can go to the professional brands. I love that you're supporting us to keep trying, even if it looks bad. Of course. Office. My stuff looks bad all the time, too. And I post it. I post it when I have a hard time with it. I almost did throw away that Aurora piece. It was very close. But then he started doodling around. You guys, it truly was a mixed media piece. He threw everything at it. Well, I was going to throw it out anyhow. So it was like, well, I'll just. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, most important or influential art lesson that someone else has told you? Ooh. Um, my uncle was an artist. He was an illustrator. And he said, Scott, he says, use every tool in the box. Use everything. Um, not Basically, there's no cheating in art. In art. Not like that, but that's why I said basically, he, you know, but basically he would say, use whatever you need to use colored pencils and acrylics and oils and whatever will get the job done. Cause that's your job is to get the job done. Um, favorite Thanksgiving dish. Um, I, I like rice, uh, the Assyrian rice that Donna makes. My favorite is the stuffing. I absolutely love the stuffing. I made stuffing my mom did. I love it. It's so good. But I like it with gravy on top. And I like, like, I could just have like a piece of turkey, a plate of stuffing, and gravy. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like the happiest person on the planet. Everything else is, uh, is just extraneous. <clears throat> have you played the Spider <clears throat> Excuse me. You played the Spider Man video games before? Um, none of the recent ones. The ones I played were in the 80s and 90s, maybe. Why do you not take the edges? Um, uh, this is just a sketch. I don't need to take, I, I can clip them down when I get to the watercolor part. How do you determine what gets ripped up and what gets put in the corner of shame? The corner of shame is a very unique thing. It is, gosh, I really liked this, but I just didn't. I was really hoping I could make it work. Yeah. And, and maybe one day in the future, I'll figure it out. That's, that's really it. It's, it's, I'm not other times, you know, the ones that I just rip up or ones that was like, eh, I don't really care about it. Anyhow, you know, it was, I thought it might look good, but it's not. And I'm dead. It, it's dead to me. Yeah. You can tell when he's getting ready to like throw something away. Cause he's just had it. He's, it gets exasperated and then it's just, you know, it's going to happen. Why don't you like doing self-portraits? You are beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, Have you seen my husband? I I see my face more than enough. I don't want to sit and stare at it for an hour and a half doing a portrait. I think that's just... <coughs> it, it's just that. I, I, I really appreciate the kind words, but... Um, Scott has done digital art before. You can see a couple of videos that he's tried digital art. Um, what would you recommend for getting better at sketching realistic characters? Um, using good photo reference. It all comes down to the photo reference. How do you color in the lines with paint? Because I'm trying acrylic paint. Uh, well, acrylic paints are going to cover up any lines that you have. So keep that in mind. Watercolor is, is transparent, so I'll still be able to see the lines. Oh, person on the internet says, thank you very much for sharing your work. I've noticed not only improvement in my work, but I have more confidence, which, I'm, which I've struggled with. I'm able to embrace the ugly phase now. Oh, I'm fantastic. Sure That's awesome. Um, Please tell me you're going to paint this in the same stream. They want to see you paint it. I'm, I'm looking them. Yeah. I mean, I might get one or two of them done. I just got to 
this was a little adventurous to try to do. They want to know when you're going to do another challenge, honey. I will. I'm thinking about it. I'm coming up with it. Uh, We're also talking about doing something like Monday with the Masters. Maybe doing like. Oh, one, yeah. I forgot about that. One day a week. Where you do something that we we study, yeah, we study a different master art and we, yeah. we copy it in our style and we try that um, and then that would not pigeonhole you. Also, you guys were you got to understand we're at the beginning of Scott's in the middle of one project. He's going to be starting another project and he may be starting even more projects. So we are going to have to really be careful with our time. And so, and we don't want to leave you high and dry. We want to be here with you. So what we're going to try to do is try to um, work other things into it. So there may be lives from different places or whatever. Um, and we will let you know about that. We'll figure that out. But one day a week to do something might be, might work better. Yeah. I, it, it's possible at 2023, the channel is going to change a little bit from majority of art to art and movies. I meant what method did you use for the pencil outlines? Okay, sorry, I didn't understand that. Did you trace? You traced these. Oh, yeah, yeah. I traced these really quickly just so that way I could get them done in time. With a 4-H pencil? Yeah, with a 4-H pencil. Okay, so I hope that answers that. And now he's going over it with the zebra brush pen. And then he will be doing... Um, the watercolors. I love art and watching your videos, but when I try to make art, I can't make anything good. My art looks like a toddler's art. You and me both, Sebastian. Yeah. Are there any tips or videos you can recommend to help my art skills? Um, toddlers generally draw from their memory. They don't look at what they're drawing. And so if you want to stop drawing like a toddler, um, start looking up and copying what you see draw a trash can draw the kitchen sink draw whatever is in front of you and get into the practice of doing that every single day and you will soon see your work transform into something that is untoddler like and i think that will get you there the work piece was so good i can't even draw the second copy <laughs> i did a video on that What's your favorite show or movie that you've seen? Um, my favorite movie is The Princess Bride. My favorite shows are The West Wing, Law and Order, Justified, and Avatar The Last Airbender. What's your favorite Lord of the Rings film or Hobbit film? Um, probably the, the Fellowship of the Ring. So can you guys see this okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is how it came out. So... You can see it. There's the stencils I used. Mm -hmm. um, Where did you use the, um, the um, color pencils? The color pencils is mostly in the hair. Okay. This is gouache down here. And then, of course, I did acrylic gouache. The, the ink lines are all gone because I, you know, went over them. But, yeah, it was close to being thrown away. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're drawing. It looks like you're shaking. Shaking? I yeah, I don't know what to tell you with that. My stream looks fine, so... Maybe your stream is not good or something? Maybe they meant shading? I don't know. No, it's not shaking. Maybe. Maybe it's shading. I don't know. Maybe. Um, okay, so yeah, all of the mods are friends of ours, and that is how they are here and why they're helping us, because they know the answers to all these questions. And I could not get to all of you, um, so they're answering all of the questions they know, which is actually Oops, a lot. Wrong pen. Let's see. Favorite West Wing character? Ooh. Toby. Uh, what is your favorite drawing snack or drink? Um, atomic Fireballs. Tea. The answer to everything is tea. Do you have any tips on foreshortening and making poses look a little less stiff during sketching? Uh, yes, I, I mentioned that it, 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 do me a favor and pick up how to draw comics the Marvel way, or you can even Google it plus PDF and you can find uh, a free copy of it somewhere online, but look at how John Buscema <laughs> did that and you will, it'll open up your eyes. 
Uh, Blick is back, and they say increasing line weight was a brilliant move. Really pulled it together. Oh, thanks. <laughs> We're so happy when you join us. We're so yeah. happy when you join us. Hey, I'd like to post a question for the Blick people. So what do you guys recommend when people come into your store or people ask you online? What do you recommend for people who want to get into art? Do you guys have some books in your stores or online that help people? So we have a lot of people here who might benefit from that. Um, we are in the United States in the central time zone. What is your favorite Marvel movie or series? Ooh, um, I really like Winter Soldier. I like the 1960s Spider-Mans. Oh, yeah, those hating were great. I myself, but I don't care. Um, can you draw a school for good and evil character? Um, I'm sure I could. I got to see the... It was a movie, right? Um, yeah, JD says, hey, do you have any interesting... Do you have, let me try that again. Do you have any tips to make the background more interesting? Really like the way you do it. Oh, thanks. Um, I, I like throwing a, a stencil uh back there every once in a while i think it's fun uh so go to you know go to the the hobby store the art store and look for some fun stencils flowers or something a little art nouveau or whatever and then uh throw those down and i think that really makes it pop uh, hope he says i personally like the aurora piece and i think you did the right thing by letting go of it and doing what you want thank you can you do a tutorial one day on how to draw lips? I did one on mouths, and I think lips are in there. Mm -hmm, I think so, too. Um, how's your day going? So far, so good. Yeah. I'm two cups of tea. Well, one and a half cups of tea in, so I'm doing good. Um, let's see. I watched your videos. Videos science a few months. I love them, and I started drawing the hair very similar. You teach and inspire us every day. Thank you, Thank you very much. Oh, Rob, the artist says, if you lived in my country, I would visit you every day and learn. Oh. If we lived in your country, Scott would then have to move away because he, <laughs> <laughs> he likes to be by himself. My no family way. is like, why don't you ever come over? Oh, God. Yeah. His mom is always like, why don't you invite people over more often? Why don't, his mother is a very, very social animal. Yeah. Very social. She doesn't understand Scott being a hobby. Yeah, it's nothing you know? personal. I just, you know, I, so I, I, you know what, you know, sometimes I feel like if you ever saw Hamilton, you know, they say, why is he always writing like he's running out of time? And I kind of feel like that. It's like, you know, there's no time, you know, there's, there's no, no I time. I, I, I don't time. Yeah, I've got art to make. Like how many more years, you know, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 54, what, next week? And oh, next week. Yeah. Oh my God. And you, you know, you're like every year that goes by, you're like, gosh, how many more years do I have of making art? You know, you hope you're in your nineties, you know, still, still painting and, and whatnot, but you just don't know. And so I, I, for me, uh, you just want to draw as much as you can. Yeah, being social is is never. Plus, I'm 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 both autistic and an introvert, so it, it it's. He's over too. Yeah, social interactions with me are always interesting. Plus, he's married to me, and I make him talk to me all the time. So by the time he actually leaves the house, he doesn't want to be. Social. I'm already peopled out. <laughs> he's already peopled out. I've been peopled out for thirty years. Um, I think so. You have never used a dip pen that I've known. I did not, not for an extended period of time. It doesn't mean I didn't try it. Mm. I don't think you'd appreciate a dip pen. Besides, it's not uh, waterproof, so you couldn't paint over it. A lot of the, none of the inks I use are waterproof. Um, Tom says, okay, I have a question. My wife says my art is good. Okay, why don't you just put a period right there? <laughs> <laughs> If your wife says your art is good, believe her. She's a keeper. 
Yeah, I don't think it is. She said I could quit my job and sell art. I don't think I'm there yet. In fact, I think my art is really bad. Well, again, you don't know how amazing your wife is <clears throat> for for encouraging you for believing in you yeah. enough to say quit your job. My wife would have never <laughs> ever done that. Excuse you. Quit your job. Okay. Who said? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying you didn't believe in me. No, I'm no, no, saying. No. Who said, I will get a job. You stay home. That was for the movie. Yes. Not for my art. I, no, no, no. And I'm saying this in all love to my wife, who has always supported me financially and every other way. But I'm saying, what a wonderful thing to have your wife say that. So just don't dismiss that. If you don't feel you're ready, then you're not ready. But just factor start, that in. Start slow. Like, start by going to like some craft fairs and selling your work there and maybe she could go with you and yeah you know and you know get business cards and set up there's tons of places you can set up a free but but honestly honestly the best place to make money is on social media you know it's it's you know because you don't have setup fees you don't have travel expenses if you can if try this you can keep your job and you can start posting videos. You can start posting your work. See if you can get a following. See if you can start getting commissions, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I would do. But like I said, I just I don't want you to dismiss. Um, it is very difficult to to say, hey, your happiness is more important than our financial security. Well, That's what I was getting his at. His wife has a job that makes a lot of money, and she's comfortable with him trying this now yeah yeah you know there's a lot of factors to it you know i mean are your kids grown do you have kids is it just you and your wife are there a lot of there's a lot of factors you know and um i don't know but i think it's cool that she's supporting you exactly um, exactly um have you seen moon nights yeah yeah i did uh we we drew moon night during a live what is your favorite ranking best christmas movie Rudolph off the red nose right here <laughs> It's Rudolph. Yeah. That's it. Hands down. It does have the bumble. Though I do love the one with the heat miser. Um, what about digital art like iPads? I I have an iPad, but and I bought a, a pen for it. I bought two of them, and neither of them worked for my iPad. So I That's haven't been able sad. to do it. Oh, Flick replied. We often suggest books based on the medium the artist wants to try, and we can always offer something to cure artist block. Oh, that's great. Yay! Thanks for answering. Um, who's our favorite actor, honey? Who's your favorite actor? Robin Williams. Um, favorite color? Payne's gray. Thank you! Bless you. I'm so sorry. Uh, stupid nose is driving me crazy lately. Um, Scott does play video games. He plays Overwatch. I love the format. You fitted all of them onto a page. It looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Have you ever tried watercolor texture hacks, like adding salt while the paint is drying? Yeah, we did that in art school. You know, I, I uh, there was a, a week or somewhere we played around with watercolors and they showed us all of that. We did the lift away technique and, and, and other things, which is fun, but... If you've got any tips for Art Nouveau, we're making things look a little like, but fantasy. I really like your art and chose to study you in my art GCSE at the moment. Have you got any tips? Uh, yeah. Um, learn it's about it's Alphonse Mucha. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he is, he's who I studied. And, and when I say studied, I would find a photo that I like uh, of a model in some sort of uh, Victorian or fantasy kind of uh, style. And then I would copy the backgrounds that, that he would do. And then I would also copy the way that he did the hair with that. And then I did that probably 20 times until I started to feel comfortable to where I didn't need to constantly reference and copy exactly. And I was able to go, okay, I think I've kind of got the hang of this and I can just do this little swirl with the hair or put a circle behind them. And so copy. 
That's the that's that's how we learn is copying. Does changing the grip regularly help with reducing wrist pain, or is it to rotate the nib? It's to rotate oh, the nib. Please type the answer as I'm just Adrian. Mods, can you type it to Adrian for me? Would you mind? Can you do that for me? Type in it's to keep for the for the nib. Who's your favorite person to draw? And you better say me. <laughs> my wife, my lovely wife. Um, how do you, oh, I hate these questions. How do you deal with hate towards your art, especially self-hate, where no matter what you do, even if you love how you've drawn it one second, then you hate it the next? Um, I would say you are an artist and you are one of us. I I, I think you, you, you all hear me in my videos and, and hear on the lives that I don't like my work either. Most of the times I'm, I'm like, Oh, this didn't really come out as good as I did. You've seen me rip up my art. Um, it, it's, it's, it's the life of an artist. I think artists that um, love all of their work are either unicorns. They're just, you know, magical creatures or they're self deluded. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but honestly, uh, you're on the right path. It's okay to not like your work. Um, it's okay. But on the on that same note, you have to learn to like your work. Uh, I, I know it's a contradiction to say it's normal to not like your work. But you have to learn to like it for where it is. It's kind of like having kids... Or, or, or we'll say like having a puppy. You love the puppy for the cuteness or whatever, but they pee on everything and they don't know how to come or sit or be, behave and they jump up on things or whatever, but you got to love them for that moment that they're in. And the same thing with your art. You got to love it for the moment that it's currently in. And so please, please learn to do so because you're going to get better and you're going to constantly, when you do get better, you're going to be looking ahead to how much better you can get from there. And so if you don't appreciate where you are, you're going to live an entire life of never being happy. And, and a lot of artists like, like say a Van Gogh did that and they were miserable. And, and um, so I'm trying to learn to be okay with not liking my work, but also understanding that I'm so much better now than I was a year ago. You also did that video of looking back on your art over the years. Yeah. And that's always a fun thing to look at. And that's always something that you talk about how you, you can see your improvement over time. Yeah. So I think maybe rather than being so hard on yourself, maybe you put your old stuff at the bottom of a drawer or a cabinet or something, and you just keep putting things in there and you look at yourself over time and you will see improvement. Yeah. Yeah. And you really, you really, you, like I said, you really do need to hold on to that older work, hold on to your work. So, cause you want to be able to look back on it and see the improvements. Mm -hmm. um, where do you buy art traveling bags? The traveling bag is from eBay. It is from 1940s or fifties. No, no, but 40s, 40s. yeah, it's a post, post World War II, uh, uh, Swiss medic bag. So, yeah. Uh, I, 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 good luck finding one. Uh, but uh, there are there are companies. Able to find it, but they're very expensive. On he bought his on eBay. They're very expensive. Yeah, and I got it. You know, seven eight years ago, and uh, yeah, we had to let it sit in the garage for like a couple of months. Yeah, it smelled, it smelled pretty bad. Yeah, so bad. So, but you could also try um, like an army surplus store. You could try thrift stores. And there's tons of bags out there that you can just try finding something until you get it. And Gallon Leather offers a bag, a writer's bag. It's very expensive, um, but you could look at that as well. Okay. Um, I am done with the inks. Blair says, I'm writing a book. Any tips? And I am drawing the pictures. Is it a, obviously a picture book or is it a novel? Yeah. What kind of book? Let us know what kind of book. Um, Scott went to Academy of Art in San Francisco. Can you do a drawing with one of those 90s art rainbow sponge toys, please? I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'd have to look and see what that is. I don't know. 
So that pretty much gets art block every day, you guys. And he just, yeah. push, he just pushes through. Honestly, that if I could, if you, if I could put a Kim on my shoulder and walk around for the day, you guys would see how many times a day he comes to me and goes, Ugh, I'm just going to take a break. I'm going to watch a little TV or I'm going to go outside. Do you want to go walk around with me for a little bit? Or, Oh, I gotta yeah. go do something else. I, I, I'm only making art maybe two, three hours a day. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the time is walking around. And I mean, I'll spend two, three hours a day editing videos. That That's a, a big process. But the rest of it is trying to find your inspiration, watching other artists, seeing what they're doing, looking for photo reference. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and it's funny when you see something, you go, gosh, you just, I, I need to paint that. And sometimes you just do. Um, hold on, I lost. Flick had another comment in here. I wanted to read it out. Um, I lost the comment. Um, okay. Favorite Christmas movie is um, It's a Wonderful Life. Gunther Singer is Seal. What sketchbook do you recommend for alcohol markers? That's a good one because that's got to be some thick paper. Um, gosh. I, I know Canson makes a, a multimedia uh, Canson XL sketchbook. I would probably look into that. Okay. Uh, Blix says, anyone who wants to delve into the technical aspects of art materials needs to check out the Painter's Handbook. Revised and expanded by the late great Mark David Gottlieb again. Oh, fantastic! That's good to know. Thank we'll you. Link to that in the. Um, Do you have it on your site? We could link to. Yeah, if you have it on the site, we'll link to it. But it, it might be. Out of All right, it is ten twenty-five. I'm going to do one Zendaya. So uh, let's do that real quick. Oh boy, here we go. Um, Danny says, from a fellow introverted hobbit, do you have any tips on how to feel less embarrassed or deal with people who get curious about my art when I go draw outside? Yes, I've done a video on that. And uh, so I would recommend watching that. But essentially what I do is noise canceling headphones, take a photo before you start because if things get like people, too many people or whatever, you can just get up and go home and finish it there. Um, be prepared. So that's why I have my Swiss medic bag with everything in it. Uh, those would be my, my best uh, advices. For, I think that I can remember from the video. Take a picture. Yeah. I said, take a picture. That was um, all right. So I am going to do we are home for Christmas and we have one grandma coming to visit us for Christmas. Um, oh my God, we should get your mom to draw with you while she's here. Yeah, we said that last year. I know, but she didn't want to do that. She doesn't have to be on camera. She <laughs> but just this year, you think you. she will? Yes, this year we're going to make grandma draw with you. I am. I am. I did send her a, a, a tube mm -hmm. so she could so she could bring her old yes. fashioned illustrations mm -hmm. so I could scan them in. Yeah. Why did you name your car Esmeralda? Um, she was named after Harvey Firestein's character in our movie Animal Crackers. Um, please do a tutorial on how to paint water. Ooh, I think I did. Well, I did one like ocean water uh, once. Kai wants to know what to do if the paint dries while they're working on it. What kind of paint is the question? Because yeah. if it's acrylic, you're in trouble. You can't do anything with it. Even acrylic wash, you can't do anything with it. Aww. Um, Three Faces. says, I love the way you talk, the way you paint, the way you are. I hope you have a nice day, man. Love That's your way of being. Very nice of you. Thank very you. Sweet. You should try to live with him, but I'm just kidding. Um, Blow dryer. <laughs> Down. Um, 
Let's see. Do you have any tips on getting back into art after a really big art block? Yeah, I, I for me it would I would say, and I know I say this a lot, but for me it, it's journaling. Yeah. Just just go and fill up a sketchbook of things that you see, people that you see, places that you see. Um, I don't think you have any tips for poster color paints because you haven't used those yet. Have you watched Arcane? We only watched the first episode. Did I watch it with you? Yep. Clearly, it was memorable. Um, there is a video, Seven Times Gaming, on hands. Scott's favorite animal is a cheetah. Yes, he's drawn dragons before. He gets art block every single day and pushes through. Um, there's lots of videos on art block. What's the biggest piece of art that you've ever done? Uh, the Animal Crackers movie poster. Could you explain more on creating a sense of focus and depth? Um, yeah, I did a video on that. If you look for the one with Aragorn on it, I did a video on that. But um, with gouache uh, and, and most paintings, you can do that with um, where your most contrast is, is where is where your eye is going to go. Uh, with inking, you can do it with line weight. Very inspiring and minty loves your line work. Thank you. Which one of your original characters would you most like to meet and hang out with? Nastasia. Um, let's see. So Chesterfield would be funny. Blow dryer. Wait, wait, hold on. I got one. Is it in there? Or did yeah. we sell it? It's right here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do not like horror movies. How did you learn anatomy? Did you study something specific about it? I took anatomy classes and then we did figure drawing uh, three hours a day oh, in school. Boy, both clothed and nude. Mm -hmm. The models, not us. Thank you for being Just wanted to that. make sure it was clear. Does AI art scare you? Scare me? No. I mean, I lived through Photoshop. So, you know, yeah. when Photoshop came around, suddenly everybody could make a movie poster. And, you know, a lot of artists lost work. They lost their livelihood. Um but uh, no, I mean, nothing's going to stop me from making art. Scott's favorite animal is a cheetah. His favorite singer is Seal. We do not listen to classical music. Do you guys like lunar items? I don't know what, like, stuff about the moon. I've always been intrigued by the moon. Um, oh, mistletoe says I might end up being sick on Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, was just wondering if you can. I don't. We don't know who that is. Scott's not really a big soccer fan. Watching your streams while I draw is helping me through the loss of my first love. Thank you for everything. Oh, Aww. espresso. I'm sorry. That's rough, Chief. Um, what's your favorite color or brand of markers? Uh, my favorite color is when is Payne's gray. My favorite brand of markers. I don't really have one. Mm, Pre-tan. Hi. 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 Blow dryer.
have a favorite flower? I don't think you have a favorite flower. No. I'm allergic to flowers, so we rarely have uh, flowers around. I always see this bag in your videos. I'm asking myself where I can get one of them. So I'm assuming that is the Swiss Medic bag. And Scott got his on eBay. Yes. You can look up Swiss Medic bag. Have you ever heard of the art piece that shredded right when it sold? And it sold for about 20 minutes, million dollars. The Banksy one? Yeah. What the what? He, they uh, set it up to where the minute it sold, it shredded itself. Like, Why? because it's Banksy, they're like anti-establishment, this, that, whatever. Uh, it's it's modern art kind of crap. Ah. Uh, Sorry, I meant crap in in a, in a positive way. Uh -huh. You should do a Christmas countdown like October. I would love that. He installed a shredder inside of the frame. He didn't want it sold. Really? He tried, not, said not to sell it, and they sold it. They were warned. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so um, I was wondering if you could show your wife's face. Yeah, not this morning, but there are videos on me and how he's drawn me about a million times for the last 30 years. <clears throat> but, but you're very sweet. Thanks for asking. Do you know anything about color theory? If yes, could you do a video on it? I don't, sorry. I mean, we learned it in college. I just don't remember it. Blow dryer. I didn't. Didn't. Yeah. Dude, what's the matter with you? They need to know about doing facial hair. Ugh. Gosh. Ugh. Uh, uh, okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, he's very enthusiastic when he says blow dryer. Um, a lot of people wear AirPods, and it's really loud with the blow dryer. Yeah, the camera is being um, very, very picky. Um, it goes in and out. When Scott puts his hand in the camera, it it just it. So sorry, there's we can't really do anything about that. Um, they want you to do charcoals. They want you to do graphite pencils. What's the best way to get the hang of watercolor pencils? My friend got me a pack years ago, and I've never used them since. I'm not sure how. I I did a video on them, honestly. I don't see the point of them just because, you know, you're, if you're going to add water to them anyhow, then you're pretty much just painting. And so that, that's again, my, my thoughts on it, but, uh, your friend got them for you. So watch the video. Essentially what you would do is you would just kind of just here. I've got watercolor pencils here. So, um, <coughs> You take this brown, you could draw like this with it. And then you add water to it. And now you've got watercolors. Wow. So okay, I got really scared on why you were drawing it in there, but I guess that actually works. Well, this is going to be, <laughs> I did this section because it's going to be blackish or I, paints gray, but you can see that you can still see some of the lines. And that's the downside for me is, is you, you now have watercolor with lines in it. And so it, and it's it, transparent. So you'll still see the exactly, lines. exactly. And so that's the part that I'm like, eh, I'm not really fond of it for that reason. Um, you get your proportions accurate because you trace, correct? When I trace, yes. Um, it, I try not to trace all the time, but when I'm in a rush, I will trace. When I have to get it accurate for a client, I will trace. Um, but, uh, you know, like when we were in Italy, um, obviously you couldn't trace. You know, we're sitting there drawing, in, you know, like sitting down somewhere next to the canal sketching. Um, so you, you get your proportions by uh, starting off with general shapes, starting off with very simple shapes, and then working your way. Uh, to you know, to use those shapes as comparisons, as as markers. 
for for your proportions. Then this is a Canson sketchbook. What is? Yours, the one you're drawing right yeah, now. Yeah, the Canson XL. Okay. It's cold pressed. Uh, yes, blow dryer. So again, you can see the pencil lines there, right? Can you see them? Yep. That's that's for me the drawback of because if you look, uh, I'm not getting any pencil lines anywhere else because there are no pencil lines. So if I was to just go over that with brown with a paintbrush, you're not going to get pencil lines. So that's it. I, I I haven't found the benefit of um, watercolor pencils yet. Um, okay, so um, please tell us which paintbrushes are you using right now? I'm using the uh, Etra Labs watercolor set. I they, they were part of that video I did on paintbrushes. Okay. Um, and we have a link to those, don't we? Yeah. Um, do you have any tips on making a comic book? Um, yeah, the best way to do a comic book is to, is to actually just do it. Um, you learn so much by finishing a comic book. Come up with 22 pages. Write the script. That is the biggest thing. I, I did so many comics where I just was doing it out of my head the way, you know, like as I wanted to go. And then you get to a certain spot and you realize, oh, I messed up. You can't go back and redo the art. So please, please, please write a script first. Um, Tara, if you look in the Art Hacks playlist, there are videos on how to draw hair and how to draw faces and different parts of the faces. Um, so I wants to know how do you trust the art process? You you trust it when you've done it enough times. Um, you've got to make all of the mistakes so you know what to avoid. And you've also got to make a lot of mistakes so you know how to fix the mistakes. Like I know that if I was to go blah with the, with the paint right now, right across her face, I know how to fix it. And so that just comes with experience. The trying and doing and yeah um what kind of brushes should a beginner use um you can use just the cheapest brushes you can find um not not the not the ones crayola puts in their stuff Oof, but no but actually the crayola watercolors surprised me on the good paper they're beautifully saturated yeah. colors. So and I like those when you did those on the really nice arches paper. With good paper with and, good and a good paintbrush. Yeah. It was pretty stunning. I was, I was impressed. Um, Blick says, we were thinking artists wanting to see a great melding of line-based drawing and paint should look at Richard M. Self. Sadly short life, but can't imagine the world without his illustrations. Yeah. Yeah. He, he did the first... Um, or the 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 iconic um, Indiana Jones. Really? Yeah. Um, okay. So, what do you use to film with? What camera and where did you get it? Uh, I'm filming with an iPhone. Mm -hmm. Your videos. The videos, if that's what you're talking about. But the live right now, we're using a webcam. You're the reason I started drawing. Oh, thank you. How would Scott feel if the celebrities he drew noticed him? Oh, they have in the past, which has been really cool. Um, and and um, it's 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 always a, a a wonderful experience. Like I'll if they if they see it and they 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 reach out to me, I'll always send them the the original art. Yeah. So I think that's a you know like a way to kind of uh, give give back for the gift that they've given us. Yeah. Um, do you have any tips on drawing teeth? I found the shape easy, but there's so many of them. No, I tried to avoid, you always, I, I think I did, might have done a video on it, but um, I tried to avoid uh, individual teeth. Mm -hmm. um, just for the record, you're 15 minutes over. Yeah. I mean, we're not in a rush, but I'm letting you know. Yeah, blow dryer. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. 
And that might be a little too late with the... Uh... Sila wants to know best art supplies for beginners. Um, paper and pencil. What's your favorite character from the DC universe? Superman. Um, let's see. Etch a sketch. They want you to do an etch a sketch if you could. And they want you some Christmas oh, stuff. Oh, God. Um, let's see. Don't underestimate watercolor pencils. The main thing is to not put too much pressure. Otherwise, the painting will leave a little mark. Okay. You should try the Okuhu markers. We've reached out to them. Um, I was just scrolling through YouTube before doing art, and now with Scott, I'm finally motivated. Oh, that's um, great. You guys are so sweet. Um, I hope you guys, whoever has a holiday weekend with us this weekend, um, is going to be making some art. I am going to be journaling this weekend. I'm trying to get the skin tone a little darker. Blow dryer! <laughs> I don't think so. Women Licked wants to know, just give them something to paint. Uh, a hippopotamus. A red panda. Now we have two things. I found the colors very muted in watercolor pencils, says Marguerite. Ah, so I wants to know how you clean muted eraser. Scott doesn't clean anything. <laughs> Sorry. There are Emma, videos on it. Emma replies to Mon Puma Licked and says, Donna will say a red panda. Yes, I will. Um, for me, I, it's just cheaper to replace one, which is how I keep Blick. Have you tried digital art? Yes. And there's a couple of videos on that. Um, let's see. What kind of paper are you using and where can I find it? This is a uh, Canson XL watercolor paper and you can find them on Blick. There's a link in our art supplies list. If you were to meet a celebrity, who would it be? I've met a lot of celebrities. Um, I, I, I was this close to meeting Robin Williams because he was going to work. Right before he passed. Yeah, he was going to be in our film. Mm -hmm. But um, no. Um, mm -hmm. No, I think I think we, we've, I we've had our fair we've, share. We've met a lot of celebrities. Yeah. It's, it's, they're just normal people like you and I. Blow dryer. <laughs> I think I am going to. Oh, um, I can never draw glasses without messing up the eyes. Do you have any tips? Um, gosh, glasses without the uh, without messing up the eyes. Yeah. I've gotten okay at drawing glasses. Um, I think some of the, some of the times what I do is I will draw them uh, draw the eyes first and then do the glasses over it. Okay, there's about 4 million questions here. I'm gonna blow through a bunch of them, okay? Yeah, because I'm gonna finish up. <clears throat> okay, so um, first of all, when you're done with this, are you gonna sell it? Uh, yeah, I'll put it up on the, uh, on the um, store. By the way, the Aurora one should be up in the store too. No, it's not, not yet. Yeah. Did you send it to Bethany? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, thanks for letting me know. Okay, I guess it's up there. Um, okay, Scott traces. If he's trying to get somebody's likeness right, he traces. <clears throat> the most expensive art supplies that he has purchased is a $12 roll of tape and very expensive arches paper. All of the art supplies that you see him using in his works are on our art supply list. You can find them all up there. If they are, they may not be it accessible to you in the country you live in if you are outside of the United States. So you can find something that is similar. Um, we can't know what's available in every country in the world. I wish we could. Um, he does not trace when he is outside. He takes a picture of it and then he'll draw it when we get home. I do not draw and paint, but I journal. 
Um, and I do have a travel journal. It is different than Scott's. Like I paste ticket stubs in, I write descriptions of where we've been. Um, the watercolors for a budget would be the Windsor and Newton Cotman set that he has. We are more active on YouTube, but he uploads on all the platforms whenever he does a video. Um, he probably spends anywhere between $200 and $500 a year on art supplies. His favorite actress would be Jennifer Connelly. He only likes it because she has green eyes and dark hair. Well, okay. Yes, I my, have my own YouTube channel. She, that's oh, just because we just a, we just saw Top Gun. There is a sale on the artwork going on right now on our store. And Bethany's posted that like three times. And so, yeah, it's still 25% off. We're running the sale through Monday if you want to pick up a piece of art, you can do that for 25% off. Um, but honestly, my favorite actress Kate is Kate Blanchett. Okay. Ava said, you really inspired me. I've been painting for some time and I paint odd stuff like Coke cans, but when I saw your art, I was inspired to try drawing again. Oh, fantastic. Um, we do not watch Game of Thrones. We tried. To do that. Um, Scott prefers watercolor, but he does like gouache as well. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Um, what kind of sketchbook do you recommend? A mixed media sketchbook for alcohol markers. All right. I am going to call it. Got a... so many brushes. I can't. We're not even going to count. There's just so many. And stuff in the drawers and everything else. Don't you feel sad about selling your art that you spent so long working on? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, and it is always difficult to do that. Uh, but if you're making art every single day, at some point you got to just go, okay, I, what are you holding on to it for? And I would rather that somebody else is appreciating my work and, and putting it up on a wall and, and appreciating it than me hoarding it like a dragon hoards his gold. Why do you use the blow dryer and the tissues at the same time? The tissue is to keep it from, uh, like, if it starts to blow off, I can catch it. Sometimes also there's just so much water that I'll just try to soak it up a little bit. But as soon as you put a tissue, like this part's still wet, if I put a tissue on it, it'll lighten it up. Like the pigment seems to be the first thing that goes rather than the um, than the the water. And so it's it's a this is kind of just a combination of when I dip my water... My, my paintbrush in the water, I can kind of just get off the excess water and kind of control how much water I'm uh, putting into the watercolor. Okay, tips for a baby driver. Whoever is teaching you how to drive, listen to them because they have experience and they are trying to help you. And this is gonna sound just like being a mother, but I'm gonna tell you, you don't know everything, you just have your permit. And so learn from the people who have been driving for a long time. Okay. Can we go? Yes, we can go now. Okay. Um, so check out the art supply list. That's where you're going to find everything because you guys have asked numerous times. And um, we will see you guys on, what day is it? It's Wednesday. We'll see you guys on Friday. On Friday after Thanksgiving. Yep, after Thanksgiving. Um, all right. Have a great one, you guys. We'll, we'll see, see you, you Friday. Soon.